Okay, here we are. Okay, it's quite late. Okay, so I may rush through this a little bit. I'm sorry. Okay, I have to work tomorrow, but I also don't really have the time to do it tomorrow, so I will try to get through this. Um, here this is Quantic. Okay, sophomore project. I'm definitely hyped to see this because, uh, you know, I was relatively early uh, in uh, Quantic's music, and this I'm not gonna take. You know, be like, oh, this is all me. This was, you know, ultimately the people who watch my channel telling me to react to Quantic, They're like, yo, Quantic is like, you know, very close to Jane Remover and you fuck, you'd fuck with this stuff, bro. That's not what they sounded like, but. <laughs> Anyways, I was like, all right, I will check Quantic out. Checked Quantic out. Um, I did like a, rea a reaction to all these different songs that I was told to listen to. And the next thing you know, like literally right after uploading that video, their like debut album came out. So I listened to the debut album, thought the debut album was great. And then just months ago, I guess, Quantic has kind of gone some sort of like fame to their name in a way. Like a, that song Life Imitates Life, I guess, got pretty big and yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I did listen to a song on here. I don't remember which one it was. I'll probably remember once I get to it. Um, I tried to film a reaction to it, and it didn't record, and one of the best parts about that, I was going to do that with uh, Lips, when Lips came out, by Jane Remover, um, but yeah, it didn't record, and then Midnight Hit, Lips came out, found out that the that was going to be on an album, so I was like, okay, perfect, I'll wait, but anyways, let's do this, let's do this. <laughs> Like, I'm aware that Quantic is, you know, certainly an emo music connoisseur. I think they were just, just following them on Instagram. They were seeing American Football live, I believe. Um, American Football is great. Obviously, there's more, like, you know, neat, like, <laughs> more emo bands other than American Football, okay? I'm not, like, the basketball verse, but... Oh, what was it? Pedro the Lion. Pedro the Lion, I think it actually was. They're big. I'm gonna turn Discord off. What the fuck? But they're a big fan of Pedro the Lion. Um, I've heard a few songs by them. I used to have like an emo playlist on Spotify when I used to use Spotify, Apple Music, okay. Um, but there was. I would just pick up on random emo songs and, uh, you know. I don't have. I didn't really have a, like a playlist for any other genre, um, so I I certainly uh, like to peruse that sound. But anyways, I really like this. Like just sitting in with this, I really like this. I'm, I'm gonna see what I'm finding here lyrically. Stop defending your blood. Wish I could say too much, but I could only put on a show. Okay, so you're mad at this person for defending their family. You wish you could say more, but you know that if you did, you would just be entertaining them. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you wouldn't solve the issue. I would stay in another room, you're never home. See the years chip away and chip away. But you drive and drive and drive and I'll carry on as usual. Okay, but you drive and drive and drive. Okay, so this person is continuing on on this journey maybe. 
right? Um, and you, you know, they're not going to change. You're just going to continue doing uh, what you're doing. It would cost me to live. Okay, not it doesn't go too deep lyrically, but the sound of the song and even like the emotions um, from the vocals. I'm okay. Okay, that's that's good. <coughs> So where you deserve it, not again, good thing to who has it, I don't need it. All I ask is may I hold it one more time. Okay. I don't know what that means. Okay. Just hold me, don't break my neck, and everything would go south. The memory you gave me, I can't help but feel so grave, so grave, so dizzy, still dreaming. You can pinch me, but would you pay the price? To who has it, I don't need it. All I ask is may I hold it one more time. Okay, I don't know what that is. What is this thing that you want? Not entirely sure what's going on there lyrically, but I can tell you, I enjoy it. <laughs> now it's like loud to spew complexity. Still certainly messing with it. It's more fast paced, a little bit more energetic than those last songs. Um, not much, just nothing really lyrically here. It's time links, those where I learned to remember as time passes by, it's like a knife. I rearranged my head yesterday, your creepy jokes, they mean nothing. I brought a gun, I don't know why as time passes by, it's like a knife. That's it! What's the lyrics in there? What is like a knife? Something that you are remembering is like a knife, and then your quippy jokes, they mean nothing. I don't know, it's like, it seems like, uh, you know, you really don't like this person that you're discussing. I brought a gun, I don't know why, as time passes by, it's like a knife. As time passes by, the gun is like a knife. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll figure that out later. It's too late for that. <laughs>
so far. The first two tracks really selling for me and this one as well. Love the guitar at the start or at the end there and then like very the, the slow part at the beginning. It was really selling for me too.
I'd say it's the most like shoegaze track on here so far. One of the better songs on here, love the energy, it's very chaotic, um, yeah, much more of a hard rock track on here, and I, I feel like they're providing me with the energy that was required. Yeah, 
great. song on there Quantic step dream I'm really gonna I'm really wondering what the general consensus is gonna be on this album because you know considering what I expect their fan base to be like um, you know with that electronic sound um, well I guess Jane remover as well ha has moved into this like more rock oriented sound right but Jane Remover's sound, I would argue, is is much more forward looking, um, and I would still say has some of the emotions similar. This is looking backwards, um, in a good way, in a sense where it seems like this artist Quantic is really enjoying the emo sounds that came from the '90s and the 2000s, and. I'm not sure how much of Quantic's audience is familiar with those artists, to be honest. I just, right, Deftones, that was a big one, right? But, like, seeing some of these smaller, like, emo names, like, feeling the influence of Pedro the Lying or Mineral, um, or, fuck, like, the Get Up Kids, maybe. Like, some, s s kind of around that type of emo sound is what I'm grabbing from this project. And I just don't see, um, I just don't know how their audience is going to react. But I can tell you how I'm going to react, and it's that I, I think this album's great. I think it's great. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's filled with emotion. I think the instrumentation on it is always catching my eye for sure okay I, I don't think at any moment was i ever really bored with this project um i will say i don't really know what the fucking lyrics are about but maybe that will change and also maybe it won't matter um because regardless of that i still think that the soundscape of it alone is wonderful and i'm going to be excited to be listening to this a few more times um well lots of fun lots of fun Look at us, it's moody, you can barely see me, but I can assure you, okay, this is me, this is Riley, coming back at you, okay, I listened to the Step Dream album um, a few more times, and I like this, I think it's really good, I get, I'm dropping it from an 8.5 to uh, an 8 out of 10, I do think that it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Um, you know, I still am maybe, um, attached to the sound that I heard prior, right? This little indie tronica type sound alongside with it, but I'm enjoying this callback, uh, I feel to 90s, sh you know, emo, grunge, um, and shoegaze for sure as well. I'm not sure what to make of it lyrically, I'm not too worried about it, but I do think at the end of the day, instrumentation on here is very engaging. Um, that's what really sells, I would say the instrumentation is what sells for me the most, right? There is a lot of hard rock 
punches here. Um, and I respect this. Uh, from front to back, it's quite easy to get through. Um, it's got nice emotional moments. I'd say the only uh, con I really have is I do feel like there's room for improvement in the emotions that can be really thrown at you in the vocals department. I do feel like, you know, they're leaning into this, this whining and maybe being a little bit quieter, but I feel like there's a possibility to be louder. I really do. Regardless though, this is a great project. I'm happy with this. Um, if there's anything else you want to see me react to, anything at all, uh, just put a comment down below. And uh, thank you for watching. Peace.